Hello and welcome to Spurred On. Here at Spurred On this week, we are excited and nervous because this Sunday it is the North London Derby. I'm here with Craig Mitch and Emma Story. We thought we were going to discuss this. This is the North London Derby discussion. How are you feeling, Emma? Sick. Yeah. <laughs> and not just because I've caught chest infection. I really hate the build up to Derby Day every single time. I'm like that whole kind of, oh God, it would be so amazing if we win, but oh my God, it would be so awful if we lose. Like I yeah. really can't deal with the stress of it. So I kind of try and just try and hide away till game day, but that's not really happening So what, this what time. are your expectations this time? Um, I think it's going to be really, really tough. Like I hate to say it, but those Gooners down the road are absolutely flying at the moment and they are playing some brilliant football and they are the team to beat. They are the team in form. <laughs> we are also in form, which yeah. is obviously a very nice thing. But the Emirates has always been a tough place for us to go. We've only won there once, I think, since um, they uh, moved in in 2006. <coughs> so, you know, I think realistically for me, I can't see us winning. I could see us drawing if we play really, really well, but um, yeah, I'm not even going to try and get my hopes up for a win. Just please, God, don't lose. Don't lose, don't lose, don't lose, don't lose. That's all I care about. <laughs> I'm, I'm very positive, actually. Um, I feel like we're going to raise our game much, much more than we played against Aston Villa. I feel like we're going to give it a good goal. And I'm always excited for Derby days. I've got a lot of Arsenal mates, so, you know, I'm kind of fearing it in that sense because yeah, the banter too. starts flying and it flies hard. Hashtag for fellas. Um, <laughs> But, I mean, at the end of the day, it's, it's going to be an entertaining game. There's going to be some fantastic football on display. I just hope we don't go there and try and play them at football too much. I yeah, think we need we to disrupt them and be physical. What United did. We no. Make the well, I United think did. as well, the good thing for us going into this is our defence is looking so tight at the moment. Yeah. And obviously our little funky Ali Dyer partnership in front of the defence is so solid and funky. so physical. Look, funky. Yeah. Do you like that word? Psychedelic. Funky. Oh, we look oh. as, we look yeah, as baby, yeah. We look as, I feel uncomfortable. Uh, we, look, <laughs> we look as solid as we look for years, though, going into yes, a, a North London derby, right? Which is like really good for us, I think. And I think it's, it, it bodes well for us going away to them. Yeah. And we'll set up different... I, I mean, people were saying yesterday about the Aston Villa match, uh, about how we left a lot of gaps and we were kind of sloppy, but we yeah. will not be set up the same against Arsenal. It's not nah. really, I don't think you can really compare it. Arsenal will be pressing us, they'll be leaving gaps. Yeah. Whereas Villa were kind of sitting back quite a lot. It's going to be a completely different tactics going Definitely. into that match. So there's no way you can really compare that. Who, who do you think will be a key man for us in that game? Uh, Eric Dyer. Yeah. I've got to say Eric Dyer. Eric Dyer, Dyer you reckon? Yeah. I think so. He's got to be... He's got on his game. Like he's got to be the key man. Yeah, potentially Musa if Musa plays as well. I think yeah. he really could be a key man. But we got maybe Son will be fit. So who knows who's getting dropped? And also yeah. Harry. Harry needs to have. He needs that, that. He you know, that confidence yeah. that he's yeah. now getting back needs to just carry straight on. He I hate to say it because it. Their, their defensive record is is pretty good. Yeah. They've got a good uh, solid centre back uh, pairing between Kashoni and Mursako. Yeah, so Has Gabriel come into the team? We don't want to talk about these lot too much. It's all about our flipping centre half pairing. The Belgian bromance. Oh, the better. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Pairing yeah. is a lot better. But who's get, well? Who do you think is going to be important for them? Do you think it's going to be the centre? For them, who's for the them, man for them. For them, I think it's Ertzel. Yeah, I mean, it is, he's it he's, me to say he's that. found form this season, and uh, if we can cut off him and his his distribution, this mm. machine. They've got a lot of distributors. They've got you know Carfola, they've got Ertzel, they've got Sanchez as well, and if we can cut off those channels, yeah. Then Giroud can't really get anything, and that's what we need to but be doing. But that's why Dyer's going to be so important because he is going to be yeah. one of those that is going to be in there having to disrupt that and like get on it. Yeah, yeah. I um, think Ericsson's going to have to have a really good game as yeah, well. Absolutely, yeah. he's going to have to. Get and Ali, I mean, look, it, it is going to have to be. Everyone's going <laughs> to. <laughs> oh, poor Ericsson! Like, poor day. lad, he has one yeah, rubbish know, free kick. One rubbish. I'm not free having kick. a go. <laughs> I saw him last night after he hit that free kick into the wall. He looked absolutely devastated. But he had a second one. He hit it and it just kind of went wide as well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. He's saving it. He's saving it up for Arsenal. I do think as well. Well, um, everyone always talks about him, but we do have to keep an eye on Sanchez. Like he, he can turn like that. He can turn a game like yeah. that. You leave him unattended for one minute, and he'll bury the ball we in the back of the net. We can contain Sanchez, surely. Is I that hope worried so. About Sanchez? I do worry about Sanchez, though. Worried about anything else? No. Um, <laughs> okay. No, I'm not. No, I am. I feel Someone injured Sanchez. Sanchez and Özil. No, I think you guys are right with Özil. I think Sanchez yeah. and Özil for me are the two that I just think need just be. I think if it's I can really, actually jump on them. I, I think, think it's really important that Lamella, if he plays on the right and Ericsson on the left, need to do their defensive duties and cover our fullbacks. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they Lamella need to because sometimes they're not. Like Ericsson likes to drift in. Lamella doesn't really like to track back and cover as much as he should. And if they're not providing Walker and Rose with that assistance, then it's going to be very dangerous. But he's, Lamella does like to get his foot in. He's guaranteed. He does. He, he, he's guaranteed. <laughs> yeah, put some money on that. He'll he definitely get a yellow. Fair enough. So there's not really any other. What about the fact that they've got quite a lot of injuries? Is that a positive? It's a great. Po I think it's a great positive for us, not least because it disrupts their team selection massively. And these yeah. are all guys who are actually 
as well, their big personalities who are used to playing in the derbies. I mean, you know, I hate to mention these people, but the likes of Jack Wilshire and the likes of Theo Walcott. Oh, yeah. They are guys who do really know. I despise them. Yeah. Ugh. I think um, but they, a big miss for them. It's a, it's a massive miss for them. Um, those, you say you know, that, Alex Oxley Chamberlain, I think, you know, it, yeah. it, it's very good that you they You say that, so but will a Spursy thing happen, like Joel Campbell <laughs> kind of scoring a winner? <laughs> Don't tempt It's bound fate. to. It's bound to. Although I thought that we'd get a draw against Villa because that would have been Spursy. Yeah. We didn't. So maybe Spursy's over. I already killed off Spursy, mate. The curse, the curse is Spursy's broken, gone. we've as lifted as, it. As soon as well, I killed off Spursy on this channel, Spursy has stopped. The sword Nothing Spursy's side. happened ever Either since. the curse is broken or you've just resurrected it. So if you're watching this after the Arsenal oh, game and Joel go. Campbell has scored, then... <coughs> Wait, on me. Yeah, exactly. I may, have, I may have wished it into existence, unfortunately. <laughs> or it happened in the premium right. rap speed prediction because he seems to get everything absolutely back He does, on. doesn't he? By the way, we do actually write things on here for the guy that said we don't, but I don't need them. How about that? I can just speak off the top of my head. How about that? No pen either. So, Sorry. score predictions, Whoa. guys. <laughs> You're right there. Hey, I'm okay, I'm all right. Calm down. I like it. Uh, Index and passion to your score prediction. Uh, have you done a match prediction? <coughs> have you got a different one for this? 1-1. One, one. One, one. One, one. I'm going for 1-1. One, one. I think it'll be a draw. A lot of people will be happy with a point. I won't be happy with a point. I want three. I want three of them. I want a speeding ticket. But unfortunately, we're going to get one, I think. Who, who's going to score first? Um... I think it is going to be Giroud. I think Giroud's going to get a goal for them. Unfortunately, because he's just... Do you know what? I hate the guy. I just feel like he gets it. He's going to be a header. That's all he can really score. He's going to get in a, a nice piece of space, maybe a set piece, a corner or something. Ozil cross. Probably. You know, it's yeah. already written, isn't it? And then I think Harry Kane's going to grab one back for us, and they're going to absolutely hate it because they don't want him to score. And apparently he supported them when he was a kid. But I have no recollection of that. Yeah? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Never even seen that picture. Nope. What Never. That, what hey? do you think? Have you got any score predictions? You got I, any match predictions in general? I do agree. I think it's going to be 1 1. Um, because I think both defences are super tight, so I don't think there's going to be very many chances. Um, but I do think we'll score, and I do think they will score. So, uh, yeah, so obviously I think it's going to be 1 1. Um, I think we'll score first, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah but I don't think we'll sorry, be. Yeah. I don't think we'll be able to hold on to it. I think we should pump them up. Wait, wait, guys, what is this? Come on, you Spurs! <laughs> I'm gonna go. Come on! I'm gonna go with two on Spurs. <laughs> two Ooh, on? Yeah. There we go. Yeah. I'm go with two on Spurs. Really? Nice. It's a new era of positivity. I love that coming your way. Well, hey. I do think Harry Kane will get a goal, and <laughs> I'm holding out for a Lamella goal as well. Yeah. All right. That'll a fancy a Lamella goal. Cutting fancy in. That. Hopefully, you're right. Or a cheeky die header, maybe. That'd be nice. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take. I mean, any goal counts. Any goal. Anything, anything, any anything goal. own goals, anything. Let us know what you think is going to happen in the match. Let us know what you're worried about, who you think the danger men are, who you think is really important, what you think the starting team is going to be, all that sort of stuff in the comments below. And oh, come on, you Spurs, we can do it. Subscribe to the channel, follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV, and we will see you on the other side. Hello, you gorgeous individuals. Welcome to a discussion about the season so far. So you know on Spurred on, we usually do funny stuff. We're quite pranksters. But today we're going to have an actual in-depth conversation about how it's actually gone. Do we think it's gone well? Do we think it's gone bad?